Hello everybody, my name is Jagiero and welcome back to the afterlife. Check out the build behind me. I really like this view. I, f I discovered this on uh, in creative mode the other day and I just think it looks so cool with like the uh, the tower sort of almost in the fog in the distance there and then to the right is a hideous monstrosity that will be probably taken down today but that's okay i have been away from the server for a little bit just been doing some other projects and stuff and also dealing with a few you know, little sort of real life issues but i am back and i'm very excited to work on this build today now, I actually have a whole bunch of projects planned for not just this build, but the builds in this area. Um, but I'd really like to finish off this first before I start anything else. Because, you know, last season, I don't know if you know this, but I did not finish anything. I don't think any part of the build. So this season, we have to finish it before we start a new project. So today, we're going to finish this entire section of the build. So that's going to be great. What's not great is I don't have enough resources to finish it off yet. So I need to go on a massive resource grind. And one of the worst resources to grind is, of course, Mangrove. It's a block that I really love. I really, really love this block that they have introduced. I hate farming it. It grows in such a stupid way that it's just uh, so annoying to actually uh, to just take apart. Honestly, um, I'm going to have a look for an automatic farm for mangrove because I use so much of it in, uh, and I'm going to be using so much of it in the builds in this area and I'm going to need a lot of it and it's stupid to farm. So yes, I need to find a better, more automatic solution. And the next thing that I need is a whole bunch of deep slates. So while I'm down here, I might as well pick up a few diamonds as well. I also need a whole bunch of blackstone, some calcite, and a little bit of redstone. Right then, so I have a whole bunch of materials gathered here, including a few little extra bits that I picked up. And now it's time to finally finish this build. I keep finding these little spots where mobs <laughs> have started to appear. Uh, there's a few cracks about the place. It's fine if we just get rid of these without blowing it up, hopefully. Ow. He's fine. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me that. Give me that. There. So there are the four corner towers done. Now they've gone quite pointy. They've, a lot of the sort of gothic architecture you find, a lot of things that just seem elongated, like the windows are really tall. And then, uh, as I said, this is quite pointy for the roof. It's a, a very common thing you find in sort of gothic castles and churches and cathedrals and stuff. So that's what I've gone with. Uh, I feel like it works pretty well. I mixed in the mangrove planks with the logs as well. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> ignore that cobblestone, that uh, cobbled blackstone, cobbled deep slate wall. There, it's fine. It'll fix to something else uh, later on. It's fine. It's fine. It's in the schematic. Okay, I just, I just stuck it on. You can see what I've done here. Okay, crosses everywhere. That's what I wanted. That's what I've said previously. I want crosses everywhere. So we've gone with the diorite walls here, and I've just done them in this cross shape, and then made sure to stick on the corners uh, these stair blocks, and it makes them just flatten a little bit. And I really like that. I think that works quite well. I could do some maybe some trapdoors on the edges here, but. You know, I, I've said previously, I don't want to do too much spammy detail like I've done previously. This is enough. Okay, this is enough spammy detail for one build. Um, the only sort of major thing, really, difference is there's like a ring of this deep slate going all the way around. That's sort of the only like major detail that I've done for it. And I think it works just having that little bit there. The rest of it, you know, just the, the mix of the deep slate bricks and the cobbled deep slate just uh make it look weathered and ruined and then behind um this circle here it's very hard to very hard to control this camera i will say 
it, behind this circle here, there is some deep slate tiles just to add like a bit of darkness to it. And I don't know if it's quite dark enough. We might change that up later on. But for now, it's fine. Okay, and now I can move on to the next section up there. But I will just show you as we go up here. The towers actually do have some functionality because you can actually enter them and go up a spiral staircase. I didn't do this on the time lapse. I've just added this afterwards. So you can go up the spiral staircase and onto the next section of the abbey. So this will actually lead to an outside section and then also on this side will be outside as well. Okay, so then you can use that to access the uh, the next part that we're going to build, the next room of this building here. So there's going to be like a platform here and then like just like a square sort of room. Yeah, how about I build that next? Alrighty, so there we are for the sides at least. So what we've got here is just a plain wall with a big window in it. Um, the windows for this place, I think I'm going to use a lot of these, um, what are they, mangrove trap doors. Because I just, I don't feel like using the glass panes and stuff. I don't feel like that would look um, suitably weathered and rustic uh, like the rest of the build. So if I go for the trap doors and then I can like skip some of them, have some of them missing so it looks like they've rotted away. That's kind of the plan for that. So we'll cover all this window in that and that one over there. We have some flying buttresses. These are actually more accurate to real flying buttresses because they have the, uh, the angle at the top and then the curve underneath that. And that's generally what apparently gives them the strength. That's the whole reason for them. Uh, I have no idea. Let me just try going into free cam mode. Beautiful. Love this mod. Uh, so I mentioned in the last video, it looks like I'm in creative mode. I am not. I cannot interact with blocks in this mode. It's fine. It's not cheaty. It's fine. All right, but well, there's a better view of it. I'm sure you got that in the time lapse anyway, but there we go. I feel like this is pretty good. It's a bit squarish, a little bit plain, but that's okay because the other sides, this side and this side, will more than make up for that. Okay. So which to do first? Um, you've seen the one on this side in the thumbnail, so I guess we should do that one first. So there we have the main tower of the abbey right at the back of it. Or maybe it's the front. I don't know. I have no idea. But up from here, you can see we have a lovely view of the bay over there. And whatever was going to be over there. This Oh, by the way, I've taken down the mob farm. Actually, that's what's going to be there. Um, because it was in slightly the wrong place. Probably by about one block. So I've removed it. This side, I think we're going to have a little iron farm when we get down to that as well. How about, though, I give you the proper view, once again, using the free cam mod, which I love. It's amazing. So there we have it. Yeah. I really like this. I think this has turned out really well. Uh, what can I mention? Okay, so we've got the, once again, the mangrove trapdoor windows that are slightly broken up. We've got plenty of crosses about the place once again. And for this wall here, you can see I've done this sort of weird design here this sort of uh i don't know how to describe this this ornate tendril like design now that will play more of a part on the other side which you have not seen yet um but um yeah i just wanted something to sort of fill that space and as i said it's on the other side as well so i might as well just mirror it so that's fine we've gone with the mixture of the mangrove planks and the logs for the uh, once again really pointy really pointy roof because again that's uh it's what sort of most gothic buildings tend to have this really pointed i don't know what the reason for it is actually no idea interesting because like obviously like most roofs are designed with rain in mind so that the rain slips off them I, I, everything will slip off these so I, I don't know uh rambling it's fine that's pretty much it you know i've done a little bit for the interior 
Okay, so I've done nothing except for a floor for the interior and I put in the windows for these uh, these side walls here as well. Once again, with these sort of broken out bits to make it look a little more used and weathered and uh, whatevered. Oh yeah, at the top here. So as you can see, we've got these black concrete powder bits here. So this is like the next stage of the gradient going from the blackstone uh, bricks to the blackstone to the black uh, the blackstone to the black powder concrete powder it's to sort of uh, add an extra shadow underneath these edges here unless i've missed a block there it's fine i'll put that in but yeah that it just adds that extra shadow it adds a little bit of contrast between the deep slate and the black because i'm getting a little bit stuck really because if it's if i have a look from this angle for instance this tower and this tower really blend together. There's like nothing separating them. So um, yeah, I, I needed the walls to be that darker color uh, to prevent that. And uh, up this section here of the tower, we have the deep slate tiles. Once again, it's a slightly darker block. So it just adds that little uh, extra contrast. Yeah. Alrighty, so now we need to move on to this side. And as I mentioned, it's going to have that weird ornate tendril design and also a bit of a something special a little design on it as well um, for that. So I guess without further ado, oh, I guess I need to do the roof then as well. Okay, plenty to do. Honestly, I don't know if I've got enough blocks left in those chests down there. Hmm, that's going to be fun. Aha, yes, wonderful. You can see the height that I managed to get on this build is amazing. I love it. Let's take a look from down here. Ow, my face. So I've actually cut away some of the ruins from the bridge here, just so that we have a little more unrestricted view of the build as we walk up to it. I really like that. That's very cool. You can see the ornate design I've got up there. The circle here. I'll show you a closer view in a minute. Don't you worry. Um, but you can see lots of contrast uh, between the walls, the black stone and and uh, black concrete powder in the walls, and then the the rest of the structure being the deep slate. It looks really good. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, let's go free camp, as we always do beautiful so you can see in the center we have this centerpiece here of it's got a cross and then it's got a little cross inside it and then it's got a diagonal cross i just wanted something different and i've added a little bit of color but we're stuck with the red of the mangrove as well so i've got some redstone blocks honestly couldn't really think of any uh couldn't really think of any other blocks that i would like to use not really a big fan of redstone block but it works. It works well enough for this anyway. But yeah, I just wanted sort of a, a, a centerpiece, little special thing there. Originally, I was going to do like a window, but I couldn't really come up with anything that I really, really liked. So I just closed it off, did the white behind it with the calci and then uh, the red behind the open areas for the crosses. I really like this. I think it's work working out rather well for this build and indeed the build in itself. It's looking pretty cool looking pretty cool okay but there's a whole hole here as i can say there's a whole section missing there's a hole literally a hole right here so i guess that's the thing that we need to do next and um maybe i'll work on some interior stuff because the interior leads a lot to be designed yes oh by the way i forgot to mention if you go up this spiral staircase here you can actually get out onto the next level here as well so this will be like almost like an attic area I was thinking maybe putting villagers there. So at least when I'm in my storage system below here, I probably won't hear them if they're all the way up at the top. So maybe that will work out for the villagers. Anywho, how about I build the roof? Have you noticed how often it rains in Minecraft these days? It's terrible. 
but it is very atmospheric. It's not so great for videos, I will say, and it actually keeps ruining my time lapses. But it is very atmospheric, and it's, this really does fit, I think, with the... What's the word? The, the, the goal that I wanted to set for myself, where I wanted to make a build that would fit in a uh, Dark Souls game or Elden Ring or Bloodborne. And honestly, especially with the rain right now, I think I'm getting there. Really do like this. Okay, that's great. Now go away, rain. Ah, uh, we got a rainbow. Beautiful. All right, so let's get up onto the side of the building and look up where you can see there is a huge window now at the top there. Let's go take a look at that. So... Trying to break up roofs is something that I struggle with quite often and one of the, the major rules that I've decided on is that if it's looking a bit too plain, stick a window in it and that's what I've done here. So once again we have a very tall gothic type window here with the broken up um, mangrove trapdoors. The, the, to me they feel like dilapidated kind of uh, wooden panels in the roofs and I, I just like the look of it, I think it looks really cool. Uh, once again, of course, we have a cross because, of course, we've got to have a cross in it. And uh, every three blocks, I've then done this sort of ridge going all the way up. Um, and I think that's really broken it up as well. And then I've swapped around with different blocks and um, and stairs. So, again, that's helped to just break it up. You know, you just got to do just throw everything at it to try and to try and stop it being too plain because it is essentially just this one big, large, flat surface. So you just got to try and do something. And at the top. We have this sort of uh, curved features at the top there. Again, uh, quite pointy, and, you know, quite gothic. I like the look of it. I could even go further and stick things on top of it, like, um, what can I use? I guess iron bars maybe would be all right. Um, I was thinking about maybe, maybe using anvils with uh, then a wall on top of that and then a fence on top of that and then a, uh, an iron bar on top of that. Maybe even that would work. Who knows? Uh, but I'll leave it as it is for now. It's fine. Let's just get a better view of the rest of the place because this is pretty much done. The other side of the roof is just exactly the same. I've just mirrored it. Um, the side of the wall, again, is mirrored from the other side. But I really like this. You know, um, sometimes it's a good idea to resist symmetry and not mirror things and have things look slightly different, which is why we have this one big tower at the back or front of the build. I don't know which is which. And, uh, and something different on the other side. So I tried to resist symmetry that way, but I just felt like mirroring these um, the roof designs and the, and the window in the roof would look fine. And honestly, it does. I'm really happy with this build. This is one of my favorite builds I've ever done. So I've accomplished something at least. I still need to finish to fill in this. Okay, I need to fill in this doorway, uh, probably with some, um, uh, what are these called? The dark oak um, logs. And then an actual door. That would be a good idea. Yeah. No idea what to put in this room still. I don't know. I don't want villages again because that would be, um, as I mentioned once again, because that would be too loud. Okay. Too loud. Um, I could maybe put them up here, but I still feel like I would hear them. So I guess the roof or the attic area is the only option, as I mentioned previously. I have not decorated it, as you can see, but uh, I will do eventually. So, yeah. I'd like to cover up this as well. It kind of looks like a clock. I don't know if I can... Do something with that? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out eventually. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, this build is mostly done. I need to put in some windows here. I've just noticed. That's fine. I can do that. I can do such a thing as that. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm really happy with this. And if the season were to end today, I would be quite satisfied with this build and what I've done in this season so far. So uh, yeah. I feel, like, I feel like I've accomplished something. That's nice. Luckily, the season is not ending today. And there's plenty more plans going ahead for the rest of the season. But what is ending today, right now, is this video. So, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.